Hello friends, welcome to Darshan Education. In this video, let us explore about Class 7 Science, Forest, Our Lifeline, Part 1, Layers of Forest, Humus and Decomposers. Hi, I am Professor Ahmed. Hi, I am Bujo. Hi, I am Alex. Hi, I am Paheli. Hi, I am Ty. Professor, this is the place which I told. Okay, where are your friends? Professor, they came. Hi, Hi Bujo. Hi, Alex and Pahil. I just met Bujo while coming from a golden jubilee. I went to a golden jubilee. Professor. 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 Hi, Bujo. Do you like to come in my car? Yes. This is what happened. I am tired after going to the Golden Jubilee. I'll meet you after. Professor, we will come after some time. Professor, we are tired. Professor, can you tell us what happened in the Jubilee? Senior people discussed about the town's unemployment problem. A plan was proposed to put up a factory by clearing an area of the forest just outside the town. This would give the increased population of the town a chance to get jobs. But many people have objected to this idea. This is because the forests serve as the green lungs and water purifying system in nature. I think you do not know about this as you did not visit a forest. So let us visit a forest to know more about it. The boy from the nearby village came to the professor. Professor, I am Tybu from the nearby village. May I join you? Yes, of course, Tibu. Everybody, please be quiet as noise may disturb animals and just follow me. Professor, I cannot see any land. Trees are covering the lands. But the view is fantastic. Sometimes there will be some sounds. Do not get scared. The branchy part of a tree above the trunk is known as crown of the tree. Different trees have crowns of different shape and size. Due to presence of vegetation of different heights, different types of crown, several horizontal layers are created in the forest. In a forest, these layers are divided into canopy, understudy, and forest floor. Canopy, the trees in this layer may be as height as 100 feet. The branch of these tall trees form a green roof over other plants. This is known as canopy. The canopy looks like an umbrella. This is the thickest layer and much of the sunlight and air is stopped by the thick foliage. Some animals in the canopy never go to the forest floor as they get plenty of food there. Animals found in the canopy include many birds, monkeys, sloths, lizards, snakes, insects, and many more. Canopy walkways are also called as treetop walkways or treetop walk, and they're useful for researchers to make researches in the canopy. <laughs> 
and pass through the canopy. In a forest, the vegetation that grows under the shade of the canopy is called as understory. The understory is a target of shrubs, young trees, palms, and woody plants that grow in the shade of taller trees. They are different horizontal layers in the canopy in the understory. And giant and tall trees form the uppermost layers of the canopy. Below the giant and tall trees are the smaller trees, which are um, shrubs and tall grasses, known as understory and herbs from the low, uh, lowest layer. The understory is hot, damp, and air in the understory is still. Animals found here in the understory are various kinds of frogs, poisonous dart frog or tree frog, snakes, insects, butterflies, monkeys, and many. The forest floor is dark, damp, covered with a layer of dead and decaying leaves, fruits, twigs, and herbs. It provides favorable conditions for seeds to germinate into seedlings. Many of the seedlings grow up into trees. Moss and ferns go on the forest floor, which is warm, damp, and shady. Many species of plants, animals, and decomposers are found here and exhibit uni unique adaptation to survive through minimal levels of sunlight on the forest floor. And, herbs are, and uh, plants like herbs are there, and animals found in this layer include mini pills, uh, beetles, etc., and large. Animals like elephants, leopard, jaguar, rhinoceros, snakes, tigers, and many more. Now, decomposers like fungi and bacteria are also found in. Professor, there are many trees. But who would have planted these trees? Nobody plants these trees. In nature, trees provide enough seeds. The forest soil provides favorable conditions for them to germinate and develop into seedlings and saplings. Some grow into trees. And Professor, can we see the same kind of trees in the forest? No, due to different climatic conditions, there are variation in type of trees and other plants. The type of animals also differ from forest to forest. Professor, is dead and decaying matter warm? Yes, the dead and decaying matter is warm. To know more about it, we'll perform an activity. The activity dig a small pit put some vegetable waste and leaves in the pit and cover the pit with soil at last pour some water after two to three days open the pit the pit feels warm professor there are many trees in the forest what difference will it make if we cut some trees all animals to whether herbivores or carnivores depend ultimately on the plant for food Organisms which feed on plants often get eaten by other organisms and so on. For example, the ass is eaten by insect. In return, insect is eaten by frog. Then the frog is consumed by snakes. Then the snake is eaten by the eagle. This is said to form a food chain. Many food chains can be found in the forest. All food chains are linked. If one food chain is disturbed, it affects other food chains. Even part, every part of the forest is dependent on other parts. If we remove one component, for example trees, all the other components will be affected. Another example of food chain is grass is eaten by grasshopper and grasshopper is eaten by bluebird. Bluebird is eaten by snake and the snake is eaten by the owl. And dead animals, for example owl, owl is, the nutrition from the owl is absorbed from the decomposers and it gives nutrition to the plant. Pick a leaf from a forest floor and absorb it. You can see an army of beetle, tiny insects and ants. Absorb it through a hand lens. You can see a tiny group of mushrooms growing on the decaying leaves. And there are even many organisms and microorganisms in the soil. Professor, what mushrooms and other microorganisms eat? Mushrooms and other microorganisms feed upon dead plant and animal tissues and convert them into dark color substances called as humus. And this humus is present in the topper layer of the soil. That microorganisms which convert the dead plant and animals into humus are known as decomposers. The presence of humus ensures that the nutrition of dead plant and animals are released into the soil. From the soil, these nutrition 
are again absorbed by the root of the living plant. Professor, what happens if an animal dies in a forest? The dead animals become food for vultures, crows, jackals, and insects. In this way, the nutrition is cycled, so nothing goes waste in this forest. Professor, you did not explain us why forests are called green lungs. Forests are called as green lungs because plants release oxygen through the process of photosynthesis. The plants help to provide oxygen for animal respiration, and they also maintain the balance of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. That is why forests are called green lungs. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, like and share, and do not forget to subscribe my channel.